Hey everybody, welcome to Techmark Gaming. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the PlayStation Backbone and how it performs in 2024. Now I'm solely going to focus on remote play since I use this Backbone only for remote play. Now before I get into the review, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and get into the review. The device that I'm using for the PlayStation Backbone is an iPhone XS Max. I have the white variant and this thing looks amazing with the PlayStation Backbone. This model came out in 2018 and it still is future proof. Now as far as the PlayStation Backbone, I've owned this for about two years and everything holds up pretty well. The buttons are solid, I never had anything go wrong on me. And at the bottom of the device, you can see that we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and a lightning port so if you want to charge up your phone while you game, that's still possible. Now to use PlayStation Remote Play, you need to have the PS Remote Play app installed on your phone and as I I click into the application is going to ask me to turn it into landscape and it's going to be a big blue button that says connect to your playstation 5 so i'm gonna go ahead and select that i'm gonna use a time lapse because it takes about 20 seconds to connect to my playstation 5 and as you can see the playstation 5's home screen is being displayed on my iphone at the bottom of the screen you'll see a settings icon which allows you to disconnect from your playstation 5 and next to that you will see a media button that you can click and there will be a sub menu that pops up where you can view all of your captures and your screenshots directly from your phone on the left you also do have a dedicated button where you can bring up this menu as well now in the middle you do have a playstation button where you can bring up the menu where you can go into your game base and you have the option to unmute your microphone on the bottom right of the screen if you want to talk to somebody online or in a party chat now if you want to get the full real estate and the full experience of the playstation 5 you can click this x button and it'll take away that sub menu for you now at the bottom right side of the playstation backbone you have the start button i'm glad they incorporated a physical button because i have to use this button in, in literally every game that I play. Now the game that I enjoy playing on the backbone is Fortnite because this is an online experience that I love playing and it's a battle royale style game so you never really get tired. Now to bring up the touchpad you just double click on the screen and you can see the map. The ergonomics when controlling the character is pretty decent. As far as getting to my opponents I really don't have a problem moving around. The analog sticks kind of throw me off because they're in different positions. One is at the top and one is at the bottom of the controller but as far as frame rates go everything is running pretty smooth this isn't a newer phone so it's a 30 hertz panel but it still has an oled screen and everything is easy to see and i can see from a decent distance as you can see i'm able to snipe my opponent and you know get a little hit markers on them now i do have to take into account that i'm playing with people on the keyboard or on the actual controller on the playstation 5 so sometimes they have the advantage over me it just depends on how good you are at fortnite now the next game that i played was grand theft auto 5 this is one of my favorite games to play while i'm on the go or if I'm in another room away from my PlayStation 5, this never disappoints. As you can see, gameplay is running pretty smooth and the speakers on this iPhone is stereo and they sound crispy and clear. The thing that I really miss is the vibration and the haptic triggers on this device. I guess that's the compromise that you gotta have with such a small and sleek device for your iPhone. Now the thing that I like to do on Grand Theft Auto 5 is play the heist. So I ended up pairing up with three other people and I can say that the online experience is still fire. Now when I have to snipe people from a distance, as you can see, see it still works but I barely can see the opponent and honestly this isn't the coldest experience when it comes down to being in combat with other people now as you notice that I have brain dead teammates so we weren't able to complete the heist but that's okay now another game that I enjoy playing is 2k23 I don't have 2k24 just because I put so much time into this game and the only thing that I play on this game is the my career mode from skating around the city to completing challenges this is really the only mode that I really need because everything is so simple and I really can't complain. When I go into practice mode, it's easy to grab a ball and go ahead and shoot. Now, since we're streaming from the PlayStation 5, you'll notice that there's a small delay, but it really doesn't bother me because as you keep practicing, you'll notice that there's a slight delay and you'll be able to nail all of your shots if you keep practicing. Now, when I'm playing actual games, everything looks vibrant on the screen since we have an OLED display. And honestly, I really don't see a big difference from a newer smartphone compared to this smartphone. Everything runs smooth smoothly and as you can see I'm able to get my three point shots up with ease. Like I said I do miss the vibration and the haptic triggers but this is a good compromise for such a small device. Now one thing that may bother you especially since the PlayStation portal is out is that those borders on the side of the device is very irritating because you can't really get the full advantage of your display. Now who is this device for? This is for mobile gamers only. People that can't be at home and play the PlayStation 5. This is a fire accessory that you can just connect 
connect to your phone and you can play all of your games, preferably single player games, AAA multiplayer games, not so much because people have real advantages over you. They're not streaming from their console. Now, is it worth it in 2024? I say yes, because there's people out here that really can't afford the PlayStation portal or you even find it on the shelves. So to have the PlayStation backbone accessible to you if you're on the go is incredible. This is also great for people that don't have a PlayStation 5, but still want a game on the iPhone. You also can play mobile games like Call of Duty Mobile, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, and many other games on the Apple Arcade store. So if you guys want to see me cover that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Techmark Gaming so I can be recommended to more gamers like yourself. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Deuces.